hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today i am very excited to share with you <clears throat> a new to me vendor the bunny sisters um i placed a order july mm, july 12th um it was a pre-order and it said that the order would take anywhere from one to four weeks um, I received it today, which is, what is today? Today is August 15th. It was supposed to be delivered yesterday. I don't know. Something happened with the postal service and it did not get to me until today. It was probably out in my mailbox for about, I'm going to say 20 minutes until I could get out there. Um, I was not home at the time, yada, yada whatever. I received it, stuck it immediately into my freezer, and hours later, here we are. I want to share with you what I received. I'm going to save the samples for last only because I think that they're all like new releases that aren't going to be available until a restock sometime later this month. Something's telling me it's the 17th. I could be way off, but, um, I want to tell you guys what I received from the Bunny Sisters. I have seen a lot of hauls um, featuring the Bunny Sisters, but my friend Amy Jo here on YouTube, she raves and raves about them, and I completely 100% trust what she says about wax. I feel like we have very similar taste in um, what we like and the scent performance and throw and all of that kind of stuff. So I finally, finally, finally placed an order with them and I am so happy. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that the owners of the Buddy Sisters are indeed sisters. I do not know their names. So um, let's just jump right in and see what it is that I got. So. We will start with That's My Jam. And this is in a lovely unicorn. It is right here. I'm going to read the scent description and then I will sniff it and tell you guys what I smell. It is a blackberry jam butter cookie vanilla bean noel birthday cake. And for the unicorn, it was $3. Again, this was a pre-order that I placed on July 12. Ooh. Um, on first sniff, I am getting mostly, excuse my horrifically janky nails. Um, they will be polished tomorrow. Um, I am getting mostly birthday cake. I do not really smell any blackberry. Again, I do not know when these were poured. Um, there is not a pour date on these bags, but like I said, it was 108 here today. So I did stick them right into my freezer for about an hour, took them out and they've been on my counter for a few hours. Um, but on first sniff, that is what I'm getting, but I'm definitely looking forward to um, sniffing it after it has been able to sit for a bit. The next one that I have is, sorry, uh, I'm just trying to go, I took a little picture of it and I'm trying to find, oh goodness, okay, Trail of Lights. And again, it's another lovely unicorn. And Trail of Lights is a red apple, leaves, and vanilla bean Noel. And this is 2.5 ounces approximately. And it sells for $3. Pretty green wax with some um, sparkly goodness on it. Oh, I like this. I definitely got the red apple and the leaves. 
no doubt that the Vanilla Bean Noel is in here. I just find that that on cold always tends to be like a back note. Oh, that's pretty. This is going to be wonderful next month or perhaps in October. So really, really nice. And that, again, is Trail of Light. And those unicorns are... Um, what did I say? Um, three dollars. Yeah, three dollars. Okay. Right. Moving right along, we have strawberry tomato. You guys, I am so excited about this one. This right here is strawberry tomato. Oh. And strawberry tomato is approximately 2.8 ounces and it sells for $3.25. Oh my God. That tomato, you get like that tomato vine from this. This is fantastic. So there's four of these. And to me, these would be like a one and done. I would put one of these in a warmer. Oh, and enjoy all that it has to offer. Um, you get the sweetness from the strawberry, but definitely, definitely that tomato. To me, it's tomato vine. I wouldn't say like an actual tomato. Oh, so excited to have this. Yeah, this is like really good. I definitely want to melt this either this month or in September. That is going to be really, really fantastic. Okay. Next we have, oops, sorry. I have it screenshotted. I'm trying to go in order. This is, um, never sleep again. And these are, this is a two pack of roses and this is five ounces. Those are beautiful. And Never Sleep Again is cinnamon sugar donuts and fresh coffee. Yes, please. Oh, my God. Definitely the fresh coffee and some delicious cinnamon sugar donuts. So, this is the size of the... Oops, of the melt. I I always say I have pretty big hands. My husband tells me I do not. I think I do. Um, so you get two of those in here. Oh, that smells so delicious. I'm going to hang on to this until October because I'm trying to work through some other coffee scents. And with that um, cinnamon sugar donut, it just screams October to me. So that you won't be seeing very soon um, in an empties, but <clears throat> definitely um, you will see it. Okay, next I have Lost in a Forest. Ugh. That is what this looks like. That is Lost in a Forest. Four different um, melts there. And Lost in a Forest is Bonfire, Woods and Earth, and Marshmallow Fireside. Again, everything about that I love. So sniffing this, I definitely get like a woodsy and earth note. Not, oh, I am getting a little fireside, like a bonfire. Not necessarily the marshmallow, but I know that that kind of like blends in. So four of these bad guys. Definitely for October. I do not see myself melting this before then. I don't know the pour dates. I don't, did I say that? She doesn't put pour dates on here. Um, 
but in Arizona, we are still pretty dang hot until, um, I say till Halloween. My husband thinks it lets up before then. I just feel that it's still hot here. Um, okay. Moving right along. We have cupcakes at the beach. Where are you? Cupcakes at the beach. Again, another four pack of different shapes and this sells for three dollars and 25 cents and cupcakes at the beach is salty sea air and marshmallow and cupcakes at tiffany's which uh i don't i don't really know what cupcakes at tiffany's is so i apologize but um I'm mostly getting like a marshmallow note and like a, a sea air, like a beachy note. So if you know what Cupcakes at Tiffany's is, please comment, comment down below and let me know. I like it. Um, it's just not something that I'm familiar with. But I like this. This I will do this month or in September. Again, still incredibly hot weather. It's 108 here today. It's supposed to be even hotter tomorrow and for the following week. I'm filming this on a Saturday. Um, yeah, it's just crazy with this heat. Next, I have... I finish all of those? Um, yes. Okay. Moving along. I have uh, Breakfast of Champions. I'm pretty excited about this one. This is kind of like not normally. Um, oh, this smells so good. Uh, Breakfast of Champions is Fruit Loops Birthday Cake. I keep saying, like, oh, I'm not, like, a big lover of, um, like, cereal, like, of Fruit Loops, any of those things. But, you guys, I love this. You definitely get, like, it's, to me, on cold, it's very lemon-lime. I love this. <laughs> I don't want to say juvenile or childlike scent because... Plenty of adults like these types of scents. I honestly have never been a big cereal person, but clearly my scent preference is changing because I am loving this. I can't wait to melt it. This is so good. You really get that, like when you open a fresh package of um, Fruit Loops, which I don't buy on the regular for my kids. Um, I'm more of like, no, you're going to eat Wheaties or Chex cereal. We do, you know, occasionally indulge and let them have um, Fruit Loops and what's that other one? Uh, Lucky Charms. That is totally what that smells like. Fruit Loops. Open the brand new package of it. That is what you get. I like it. I am definitely looking forward to warming that. I can see myself doing that like on a Saturday or a Sunday morning. Like <clears throat> instead of doing a coffee scent, I would totally be all about melting that. Um, Buffy Slays. So that is Buffy Slays. Did I tell you guys how much um, Breakfast of Champions was? three dollars I think I've talked about that before okay so um Buffy Slays what's this it's these two ginormous flowers and it is a red apple mac apple cotton candy and pie crust this so for two of these bad guys six dollars I would feel that I would get four melt out of this. So eight total. So not bad for six dollars. 
I am definitely getting that. The red apple and the mac apple. Not so much pie crust, not so much cotton candy. But the cotton candy could be what's adding the sweetness to the apples. So definitely looking forward to... Um, oh, this is it for sure an October melt for me. And this is it's a two-pack of roses, five ounces. Um, so eight melts, I'm saying, for, what did I say, six dollars, yes. Oh my gosh, yummy. Then lastly, I have weekend breakfast. Again, the four-pack of a variety of shapes and that sells for three dollars and 25 cents and it is raisin bread cinnamon sugar donut oh hello mama oh, oh my gosh i so need this oh this is such a happy 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 scent This is fantastic. Raisin bread, cinnamon sugar. And I'm guessing like a donut, cinnamon sugar donut. More on the bready side, like the yeast. Oh, this is so yummy. So for these guys, <clears throat> this says that it would be um, 2.8 ounces. So I would honestly do like one of these shapes per warmer um, in my house. That's what I would need. Um, this smells so good. Again, end of September, October scent for me in my house. That's just when I feel it necessary to transition to fall. We, like I said... We're supposed to be like 112 lol, uh, in the upcoming week. So I got to stick with my summer stuff. All right. Then the Bunny Sisters were very generous. It sent me four samples. So I don't have scent descriptions. I didn't look them up. I'm just going to tell you guys what I think on Cold Sniff, what they smell like to me. The first one is Cosmic Cookies. So it's a pretty good um, amount. I get like a lemon, maybe a lemon curd. Yeah. And I'm going to say like sugar milk. This is nice. I like this. That's cold snap. I, once I melt these, I'm sure I will have the scent descriptions for them after I've melted. But to me, lemon curd, sugar cookie, yummy. Looking forward to trying that bad boy out. Next, we have holiday dessert. This instantly made me think about Christmas. And I am definitely looking forward to the holidays after... What a shit show 2020 has been thus far. Let's see. I am getting a... I feel like sugar cookie. A hint of a berry. And... Sugar cookie, berry... And a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of spice, like a clove and a nutmeg in with this, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But again, a nice, like, one and done um, sample for this. Again, this will be like a November melt for me. Then we have Babysitter's Club. And that is 
Babysitter's Club, again, a one and done. Oh my god. This smells like Cookie Crisp. Is that the name of the cereal? Like that chocolate chip. They look like chocolate chip cookies. Cereal. That's what I'm getting. That and sugar milk. You guys, again, I'm my nose could be completely 100% totally off. That's what I get. Like a chocolate chip. A chocolate chip. Like sugar cookie type of milk. Watch it say that it's like lime and strawberry or something. I don't know. That's cold sniff. Don't know. This one, I love the name of this. This is Dessert at Grandma's. Oh, my boys love dessert at both of their grandmas because they are spoiled. And on th this, I get like an orange creamsicle scent with, oh my God, I want to say like a sugar milk whipped cream spice. <laughs> Yeah, again, probably 100%, totally way off, but that's what I get. Orange, sugar milk, whipped cream, spice. Yeah. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it there. So, first time ever ordering from the Bunny Sisters. I'm very excited to get to melting. I tried to kind of do more of like scents for September, October as I am working through my summer scents and blends. Um, but very happy with what I purchased. Amy, thank you so much for always speaking so highly about the Bunny Sisters and I cannot wait to start melting all of this. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope that you're having a magnificent weekend. And if it's not too hot where you are, that you'll be able, that you are able to be outside enjoying, um, the weather. If it is hot, I hope you have a swimming pool or a nice air conditioning and you are staying cool. As always, please be safe, stay healthy, wear your mask, and I will see you in my next video. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.